Okay, I have my big Bertha on the pad. I just had a great D16 foreign launch. This also has a D16 foreign in it. Um, this has, I believe, a dual streamer in it connected in the middle. So this is going to be really, really cool, but the winds are getting really, really powerful here. You see it's shaking the rocket on the pad. I'm going to give it about 10 minutes, and I don't know if I'm going to launch or not. Just the launch in this wind is probably going to be very, very difficult to get a good flight, or it might be, it might even crash. We'll have to see. So anyways, let me uh, take a break for about 10, 15 minutes and see what happens. parachute in the end. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. I wish I had the rest of the flight. <laughs> the wind is so strong, it's blowing me over. Okay, so here's the Big Bertha. Had a great flight on a D16. Looks like uh, some of the wadding got a little tangled there on the cord, but that's okay. Um, the engine did fine, the D16-4. Again, I had a lot of problems with them. These are, they're working really well today. Nose cone of the pad is here. The pad got a little cinched, but you know, that, that's its purpose. And here's a, uh, gosh, I think this is a, either a 25 or a 35 foot stre uh, streamer. At the very, very end, I got that little drogue parachute. This looked really, really nice. I just wish I hadn't got blown over by the wind. It gusted so hard, it literally blew me over and I couldn't maintain my balance. Um, you see there's a small parachute on the end. It's all a spill hole in it. This room a different rocket. Put it in here. You see here's a streamer right here. <laughs> very, very long. Actually, measuring this out, this is about a 40-foot streamer. So a 40-foot streamer, a little parachute on the end. Um, spectacular flight. Hopefully next time I'll have a less windy day. And I'll be able to see where it's going. Uh, this wind is very, very difficult to deal with. I'm about 900 feet down the range. It's way down there, and I got to walk back. So we can only do experiments like this on nice, uh, large open fields. Every direction I look, it's a mile of dirt. 